Both countries formed a silent alliance against the Soviet Union. Japan wanted Poland to join the Axis. They also actively supported the Polish government in exile. And as a token of friendship, the Japanese indicated that Poland is a samurai nation. It honestly feels like when your best friend from elementary school ends up choosing to go to a different high school than you, so you're kind of just forced to hang around with your leftover friend over here. That sucks. No, but this actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it. The Soviet Union was a direct rival to the Japanese Empire before World War II. So of course you're going to want to ally to all their powerful neighbors on the other side of the world. They just weren't going to be able to predict poor Poland here was just going to get steamrolled. Encircled. Surrounded by German tanks. Germans asked them to surrender or face total annihilation. Replies with nuts. Refuses to elaborate. Then to top it all off, he wins. General Dees played his cards well. Dees nuts. Is that why you replied with this? Why the Imperial Navy and Army hate each other. Now this might seem just like a normal Star Wars YouTube video, but no, it's actually about the 1940s Pacific Theater. Some inner service rivalries run deep. Still goes on even today. Could Hilton Hilter Bench 225? Hilter didn't lift. Well, okay. Back to the original question, I'm gonna say no. He clearly doesn't have a sleeper build. Osama Bin Laden, a Peruvian professional football player. And apparently, yes, he was given this name because it sounded like the other guy you're thinking about right now. He also has a brother named Sadan and, uh, well, a sister named... Okay, seriously? I actually can't find any evidence to prove this isn't his actual name. Another map of the U.S. from this new upcoming movie, Civil War. This goes viral every time it gets posted just because of how horrible it looks. A Hearts of Iron 4 modder could have done better. You can't even deny that. California and Texas, both a part of the same team called the Western Forces? Rules for dating my daughter. Number one, April 1805. Number two, Napoleon is a master of Europe. Number three, only the British fleet stands before him. Four oceans are now battlefields. Wait. What? What the hell did I just read? Do we want my daughter's boyfriend to be a Napoleon Stan or not? The Roman Empire was the greatest empire ever! Then why is this meme in English? Ooh. Yeah, gotta admit, there's been a lot of things from the Roman Empire that still survives to this day, but their language isn't really one of them. But you could argue it does, it just evolved a lot. Don't worry about AI, we invented nukes years ago and the world didn't end. Non-nuclear experts versus nuclear experts who know about the close calls. I mean, I'm not even an expert and I can think of a handful of close calls. Artists getting replaced by new technology. Meanwhile, farmers be like, first time? And the threat of technology taking over their profession has literally been there for thousands of years. Yet farmers are still going strong today. Though we do need less and less as we go into the future. The Northeast Earthquake on April 5th, 2024. We will rebuild. Apparently thousands or more New Yorkers experienced their first ever earthquake. Yet here in California we have probably like a 4.8 earthquake, what, like every day, every month? But it wasn't that big. Technically in California we have earthquakes pretty much every day. Filing taxes, gymnastics, the government knows how much you owe in, well, I guess Norway, apparently. Versus, you need to go through a complicated process, fill out a bunch of forms, try and guess correctly how much you owe, but finally, the government knows you owe in taxes. Big difference, obviously, how we do that here in the U.S. Best part about this, you get it wrong, you get a free trip to jail. Realizing that America does not include tax on the product's advertised price. I never knew it any other way until I started traveling. In the U.S., we put 99 cents on top of everything, so you can assume there's gonna be a tax included. Languages with gendered objects, uh, yeah, you're all wrong, says English. Still to this day, I'm a little surprised to find out that English is one of the only languages that isn't gendered. Actually, it's a little bit half and half, and genderless languages does make up the majority. So I should rephrase that. I'm still surprised of how many gender languages there are in the world. That's a lot of people that need to know the gender of a washing machine. <laughs> La lavadora. Who would win? Perfectly evolved appendages that made humans the best long distance runners on the planet versus one blocky boy. Somehow the nation of Denmark has created this kryptonite for all humans. It's like they're actively trying to kill us all. Is omniscient. Knows wheels are more efficient than legs for traveling long distances. Designs humans as endurance hunters. Gives them legs instead of wheels anyways. What is his problem? I'm thinking of that old, like, twisted metal character. Yeah, why didn't God make us all look like this? The president of Botswana has threatened to send Germany 20,000 elephants. Was oofed in the year 181 BC. Born in 1962. Welcome back, Hannibal Burka. It's about time. I knew this day would come. Make sure to pray for Indonesia too while you pray for Taiwan. What's happening in Indonesia? People live there. What? I thought these islands were completely uninhabited. The United Nations in real life. Please don't do the thing. Does the thing anyways. Versus the United Nations in fiction. We just oofed an ancient god who tried to destroy humanity. Great, here's the location of another one. We really want the United Nations to be this way more powerful thing, but in reality it's not like that. LeBron James reportedly abandoned Britain to the barbarians. Oh, so he's to play. 
flame made the very first berries pop up here, didn't he? When Brits joke about the UK being poop versus when Americans joke about the UK being poop. Yeah, that's also how you unite literally an entire continent over there. Thank you for giving me the only pass. How I feel after winning an online argument defending my country. In 2024, these are what the greatest patriots look like. Luckily, we actually don't have to die on a battlefield anymore. But it still feels like that internally. When my Russian friend explains to me that it's absolutely democratic when the president can choose who his people are allowed to vote for. Oh, I didn't know that was even a part of the whole system. Okay, that makes sense. Putin projected to win an 88% majority. 88%? Those are insane odds. Putin allowing democratically appointed powers to Putin? Man, what a fair guy. Russian officials currently in the border region with Ukraine. Um, it's it probably is kind of under control, I think, right? The oil and gas industry is dying. Look inside. Oh, it's actually just business as usual. Just give it a couple more decades, right? <laughs> I hope. Maybe centuries. What if there was a Jack Black shaped continent in the Pacific? Finally, the mapping community asking real questions. I need to do a battle royale of this world on my gaming channel. Meanwhile, mathematicians be like, Green's theorem relates a line integral on a simple and closed curve to a double integral of difference of the partial derivatives of the components of a vector valid function. I can't even believe I said that in the first take almost. That usually takes me like 20. Then there's the physicists. Green's theorem says that all of the little inside swirlies combine into one big outside swirl. They're literally just an industry of memers, kind of. And they get to write their theorems in meme talk? 27-year-olds in the 1790s versus 27-year-olds in the 2020s. This relates to a bigger topic, I think, outside of history as well. It's been going on for a minute. Uh, something about millennials are not aging. Maybe that's because all the other things we liked just aged like milk instead. Where my Hufflepuffs at? Is your child texting about Mesopotamia? AFK means Assyrian fighters oof. BRB means busy rebuilding Babylon. CBA clay bread ale. WTF whoa, tigress flooding. <laughs> okay, that one actually got me a little. LMAO uh, I don't I don't want to pronounce any of those. IMO irrigating my onions. Finally, Gilgamesh tablets groovy and inscriptions indicate uh, righteous cylinder. Yeah, I'm actually a Mesopotamian extremist. My mom's so gonna ground me for this if she finds out. A map showing where Europeans wash their hands after using the toilet. Meanwhile, all of Europe trying to shake the hands of Bosnians and Turks. These two countries literally always wash their hands. This map is like like years old, but it won't go away. Like, I think it traumatized most of the public, or at least it did for me. PayPal me $40,000 for illegal activities. I'm not gonna elaborate on that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. You will find out later what I'm up to. Brick Sequoia. All my homies use Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Kai, and Northrop Grumman. <laughs> Northrop Grumman. Are you sure about this one, though? Boeing during World War II. Our planes can survive being literally ripped in half, torn apart, lit on fire, all the while still being able to make it home safely. Versus Boeing today. Our planes barely stay together and function properly. Yeah, it's not going very well for this American aviation company. I'm only flying Airbuses now. And big thanks to my patrons this month. Drew, je suis ton père de retour avec le lait. Regarde de Douchebaggins. Amateur oh, archaeology. Norwalk. Carmel S. Connor Pavlin. Cameron Edwards. Edward. Frederick Tim. Henry Hedlund. Inquisitor Zarius. Megan Underwood. John Kansas. Kansas. Kirin Elizabeth. Girl. Zabby. If you the Mexicans, 760. 